Back to the service line, here's Jenna Gray for the Stanford Cardinal. And Washington State strikes right back. Claire Martin, the middle blocker, credited with the kill, one off. And here's Olivia Cole, junior from Washington. Good set to Lutz. Dorigi, nice up by the libero, Morgan Hentz. And Hentz pushes it over. Free ball opportunity here for the Cougars. And attacking is Taylor Mims with the kill. 2-1 Cougars. Taylor Mims, one of the real recruiting steals in terms of Pac-12 Conference Volleyball. A Montana native, just off the, the beaten track and out of kind of the watchful eye of a variety of strong programs. And Washington State was there the whole time and gobbled her up. Moretta Lutz tries to fire it back with a nice block up front from the Washington State Cougars. Now pushing ahead, 3-1 opening set. A couple of tough touches. That one kind of knuckleballed a little bit towards Lutz and she caught it off the heel. Olivia Cole to serve again. Backside set and misfired by Catherine Plummer. Now Plummer had a big season last year as a freshman. Preseason all Pac-12 conference this year. Push over and backside set and creamed down by Moretta Lutz. Lutz missed the first five matches of the season due to injury. Ranks 10th all time in program history in career blocks, over 430, but she can also fire it down there. Tammy Alade with the finish. It looked like Tusa was gonna look for the dump, but the way that uh, the blocks get up for Stanford, I just don't know if that's gonna be there this evening for Washington State. And that's blocked out of bounds. So side out, four all for set. Of course, the Stanford Cardinal missing Inky Ajanaku this year. Effective force last season, taking them to the title. Four all. Gray. Oh, great up by the Cardinal. Tusa. Gray again to Lutz. A battle at the net. Dorigi's gonna push it over. And there's the finish from Michaela Keith. Look out. The redshirt freshman making a statement early on. So take another look at this. Quick set. Just placing it right in the corner there. Here's Morgan Hens to serve. 5-4 for set. Tusa, touch shot over, picked up by Hentz. And swung on, heads wide from Morgan Hentz. The pipe set wasn't the only option there, Ted. I was a little bit surprised to, to see Stanford run that line. Really the first time we've seen that today, but also not something they've shown a ton of this season. Ashley Brown serving. Megan McClure, near side. And Taylor Mims again, firing down the line. Mims kind of threw the change up a little bit there. McClure, by the way, had a nice sidearm swing. Didn't result in a point for Stanford, but it was a very crisp hit. 6-5, Cougars. And that's blocked out of bounds by Penny Tusa. 6 all.
There's a new face to this team, Kate Formico, freshman, went to Archbishop Mitty High School from Saratoga, California. Oh, and that's a great effort by the libero for the Cardinal, but unable to pop it over. 7-6, Washington State. Now as we take another look at this, really laying out was Morgan Hentz. And back to serve is Taylor Mims. A service error sends it the Cardinal way free point Seminole. Now Megan McClure will check in. Freshman, six foot outside hitter. Went to Rancho Santa Margarita High School. Ashley Brown. They call it a double hit. They could have called a lift as well. Um, but at the same time, I think just the Cougars are getting all the breaks. It was like a knuckleball serve that I thought potentially might create some problems. Instead, Stanford gets into the net and then just uh, could have called it a lift. They called it a double hit off the net. Uh, but Stanford having a little bit of trouble with the block, which you wouldn't necessarily expect. Great back set. And that's going to tag Jocelyn Urias. That's some great power from Fitzmorris. Let's take a look. Bank of America replay. Here's Fitzmorris on the outside. Boom! Right on the shoulder. And she's got that swing. One of the better back sets we've seen this evening. Eight apiece. And the Cougars strike back. Casey Shameline, a senior from Bellevue, Washington, with the kill. Last year, Shameline. Led the all Pac-12, or excuse me, honorable mention last year in the Pac-12. Her father, Gary, is an FBI agent. <laughs> There's Lutz I, again cross court. I was hoping you would mention that. <laughs> of course. Shane Line, I don't know if he appreciates it, but <laughs> sorry about that, Gary. That, that must be the coolest thing growing up. I think that's that's very neat. This Washington State Cougar squad is so cool. They've got more than, it's, I think it's six different players that have played for international sides somewhere along the way. Absolutely. Jenna Gray serves long. Cougars 10-9. Tight battle here in the first set. Olivia Cole serving 10-9 and back-to-back -back service errors back at 10 each so we'll see Catherine Plummer right now leading the Pac-12 with 4.76 kills per set career high had 27 kills against Penn State the only two matches this year that the Cardinal have lost have been against Penn State Jenna Gray cross court and battling on the floor, the Cougars stay, keep it alive. But then finished off by Alade. Tammy Alade leading the Pac-12 in attacking 4-2-6 hitting percentage. Born in Akur, Nigeria. Four different touches for Jenna Gray there on that point as well. Touch shot over. And Lutz with a touch shot back, fighting on the sideline. Cross court and fires wide as McClure had a bit of an opening in between the blockers. And it's going to touch actually the Cougars. So the Cardinal get the point. It's going to be 12 serving 10. Plummer back on the line. No, neither team is experimenting with a second serve. No, going all out tonight. Seen a couple of those now. Very tight contest. By the way, the Cougars played a fourth setter against Cows just a couple days ago. There were seven lead changes in the fourth set. Each of the first three sets featured at least three lead changes after five all. And that was last night, wasn't it? Yeah, it was. Excuse me. So it was a very, very close matchup even in five sets. 
and uh, the the sets that the Cougs were able to win they actually ran away with. So Moretta Lutz with a cross court kill. Oh, a piece of beauty with that spin. No chance for Washington State to respond. I should say the set they were able to win, and it was the Mims shot. That's blocked out of bounds, side out. Cougar serving 12-13. Taylor Mims in that one had 20 kills in total for the Cougars. And Claire Martin will check out, and will come Ashley Brown, the sophomore from Texas, and a prosper. McClure firing long. And we're tied up again, 13 points. First set here on the farm tonight. Ashley Brown to serve. Gray, McClure. Far side, gets the angle. Taylor Mims. And she got some kind of geometry angle on that one, Chris. <laughs> Well-practiced eye. Clean swing, too. Cougars up by one. On oh, a free gimme. Some miscommunication on the Cardinals' side. And it's 15-13 Washington State. Timeout called by Kevin Hambly for the Stanford Cardinal. What are you seeing so far? Well, it's been back and forth. I mean, this equals the largest lead for either side. And uh, it feels like Ted... The blocks for the Cougars have been just a little bit more sure, and in fact, creating a bit more space. Um, kind of in the middle of the block has been the name of the game for the Cougars. And then on the edges, Stanford has really been more solid, but the ball has more or less been in the middle, right around the S and the sphere to kind of indicate that half court mark. Uh, that's the area where Taylor Mims has really been controlling traffic, if you will. And pretty well evenly matched. Washington State 13 and eight. As we talked about at the start of the broadcast, Stanford only losing two so far this season, 16 and two overall. Both of those against Penn State, who right now I believe is in the top five in the standings um, nationally. Excuse me. And um, yeah, Washington State with the loss last night against Cal, they're coming out ready to fire. Ted, a shout out to everyone watching on uh, on Facebook Live, uh, in addition to the Pac-12 web stream, but. Uh, one of the things that, uh, and, and you can actually catch this on YouTube, a uh, friend of the program, Kevin Dana, did a broadcast uh, where he just did a, th it was a 30-minute sit-down with uh, Kevin Hambly, and he talked about various different aspects of the program, but uh, really a big, um, a big part of it was just talking about all the, the sliding and moving and pieces, playing different positions. There will be players essentially playing entirely different positions uh, by the by the end of the season and we're more than halfway through here so that is very important to, to think about as we're going now first time through the schedule for both of these sides uh, Catherine Plummer is a player that rings a bell but transitioning from the right side to the middle and eventually kind of to the back she'll run that pipe set a little bit as well even for Stanford very versatile yeah great interview Kevin Dana excellent broadcaster with Kevin Hamley the head coach check that out if you're a Cardinal fan as that one is swung on and is wide. Now the Cougars up by three. First set, 16 to 13. Back to serve is Ashley Brown. One of the nice things about Facebook Live, fans can leave comments and questions as well on the live stream. That's Jocelyn Urias, redshirt sophomore from Tijuana, Mexico. This year was selected to the Mexico national team, Mexican national team, redshirted last year, and was on the junior Mexico Mexican national team as well. As the Cougars getting closer to the 25 point marker at the first set, 17-13. Yeah, you know, Ted, one of the things that you look for in, in the middle, and, and with Urias, you especially see it, is you look for players in the middle that can score points without really starting, right? So they need to be flat-footed and still be able to get the ball over, either by dumping it or by getting kind of a long touch or, or a dink of some sort. And Urias has all of those tools available, even just in the first frame here. Uh, we've seen her do really all of the things that you can do to score points. Not all of those efforts have netted a score, but here we saw kind of flat-footed, a full swing from Urias 
scores the Cougars points, and this is equal to their largest lead of the contest. And thank you as well for joining us on Facebook Live. Ted Emberg with Chris Fitzgerald. Make sure you leave your comments, and we'll be sure to give you a shout out or try to respond to you during the broadcast if you have any questions. Cougars up now by four, 17-13 here in the first set. Don Shaw used to always say, former head coach Don Shaw used to always say, out of the timeout, the team serving is way higher percentage to, to uh, have a serve error. And Don, like many things in volleyball, he wasn't wrong about that. Well, the fans throwing up the pom-poms right now in the stands. And we're underway, 17-13. And a tip shot by Adriana Fitzmorris. And a side out. What a fantastic line out of the break. I think Stanford recognized the potential weakness there. Let's see if they go back to it. Here's Kate Formico, the freshman. Third on the team right now in Diggs. Made her collegiate debut against Long Beach State in a service area error for Formico. And now it's going to be 18 serving 14. Washington State in the lead in this first set. Washington State has lost four in a row. The Cardinal have won 11 in a row. Gray. Big swing from McClure. Derigi trying to find an opening. Gray backside to McClure. Just out. Or did that catch the line? Caught. I think it caught. It caught the, the line and the fingers. Yeah, caught the baseline of the block, which was tough to see because it was just off the tape as well, Ted, but clearly off the hands. One of the nice things about watching from the baseline is we could see every single little touch here from the side angle. It's actually quite difficult. So Amazing <laughs> up by Chenick. Pick save. Yeah, hence, and there's the put away from the Cougars, but an amazing effort by the defense of the Cardinal. Back-to-back -back pancakes for Formico. I thought she had the save on the second one as well. I, I think a lot of our viewers who are watching on the, the fantastic video stream, which is mostly baseline, is saying, yeah, you didn't see the deflection. It's, it's kind of tough from our vantage point, Ted. Yeah, it definitely as we're down low. And that's off the hands of Urias. Point Cardinal. Speaking of Don Shaw, Stanford volleyball fans will sometimes, if they look into the rafters, see him way upstairs where no one's sitting. He likes to be as far away from the action and on the baseline as possible. I kind of gave up his spot there, but I've seen him once or twice do that. Occasionally, he's first three rows. We'll see that with sometimes with rows. tennis coaches as well. He'll sit way up there. Fitz Morris. Meanwhile, we'll check out Sidney Wilson serving for the Cardinal. And what a serve it is. That's a big point right there. Big point for the Cardinal. 17 serving 19, first set. Now Sidney Wilson, a freshman from Ontario, Canada. Junior and senior your high school volleyball captain and a miss hit from the Washington State Cougars that was Ella Laosh just mistiming the jump as we take another look at it here's the set a little bit lower she was expecting it higher and 18-19 and that's out of bounds so point Cougars now just five points away from claiming this first set. As we go back and forth here, 20 serving 18. Penny Tusa, the freshman, will serve. Made a big impact Tusa did last year as a freshman, was freshman player of the year. 324 assists, serving right up the middle. Gray, Plummer, Power. Let's check this out again. Yeah. 
Plummer driving into this, firing right at the Cougars, 19 to 20. Jenna Gray serving. And some miscommunication again from Tusa to Taylor Mims, and we're tied at 20 each. Six of the last eight points going the way of the Cardinal. And it's going to come down to who wants it more in this opening set. 20 each. Jenna Gray. Cross court serve. Tusa. Powered down by Casey Shaneline. Plummer responds, blocked up front, and no one can get there. Point Cougars. You can't always choreograph it, per choreograph it perfectly, but if Jenna had gotten to that ball first, the pass probably would have been a little bit more lateral rather than towards the net. Net and passes towards the net are always and serving for this set. Here's Morgan Hentz. Deep serve. Taylor Mims fires in between the blockers. McClure, yes! And the Stanford Cardinal capture the opening set 25 to 22. Ted, gotta, gotta tip your cap to Jenna Gray. Some fantastic passes down the stretch. Clean serving. The entire team came together to help her. Captain Plummer with some of those notable swings. And uh, you mentioned the, the, the point before match point was really maybe the, the full shift to Stanford's kind of momentum getting to the point where uh, they were just gonna score points. They didn't make a single mistake for the last five points of the set. Fully deserved the win. Uh, in the first stanza. Yeah, they certainly battled hard on the business end where it counted most in the first set. A lot of ping pong back and forth in the earlier part, but the Cardinal able to capture 25-22. We'll take a quick break. We'll be back in Maples Pavilion. Second set coming up, and Chris Fitzgerald on the play-by-play. -play. You're watching pack-12.com.
Well, Stanford scored a whole heap of points to take that first stanza, 25-22. So it's 1-0 heading here to the second. Ted, uh, I'm sure we'll kind of pepper in the stats here as we get started, but uh, the two teams have switched sides, and Stanford will serve to get us underway. Sydney Wilson, first time we've called her name the Toronto native to get us started. And it's a short serve collected by the Libro, the Rigi, and then a good swing off the fingertips. And the opening point is to the Cougars. Yeah, that's Claire Martin with the kill. Just finding the opening on the front part of this court and just targeting. Gets the Cougars on the board early. What they need, an early start in the second set. Cole will serve it. Ted, it feels like uh, the kind of shorter balls have benefited the Cougars and deeper balls have benefited the Cardinal, at least when they can offensively even put uh, long free balls to the back. Just kind of what it's felt like. Here is the pass from Gray. Good swing, tips off the fingertips, but give Catherine Plummer another kill there. Yeah, that may be the case, but what stands out to me even more is looking at these stats. You look at Washington State, Taylor Mims is leading right now with eight points. There's not another player on Washington State who has over two points. If you look at the Stanford Cardinal, they're really utilizing all of their players. They have five players with three plus points distributing well. They're not relying on one player. That's tough to stop. Serve is a little long there, and, and Ted, that's a great point. Uh, even for Washington State, this is just a little bit more uh, Mims-centric than it has been in previous contests, and that's something to certainly look for. Dereggi gets us underway. A swing into a triple block, and it's just wide, but uh, into the triple block, Moretta Lutz did just about all she could with that ball. Kind of reminds me of uh, uh, Alex Kleinman a little bit for the Cardinal. People that watched in the mid and late 2000s will remember her. A good swing from the corner. Another kill for Catherine Plummer. And it will. Yeah, there's the kill leader in the Pac-12, Catherine Plummer. Averaging 4.7 kills per set. Five points deep is where we sit. It is two serving three, a pancake save right off the serve. Great back pass. And picked off by Plummer. Stanford's going to get an offensive look here. Plummer going to instead bump set it over the net. And a back set once again from Tusa. Collected off a ricochet by Plummer. A high pass, almost too high in some ways. McClure pushed it over. And this the longest rally of the contest. A swing just wide. Stanford with the point there as McClure let it go. And it's a good thing she did. Knotted up at three here, Ted. Yeah, these long rallies, Washington State trying to find the open court. They need to attack this team. Just how do you do it? A cross court, one touch over situation for the Cougars. Good swing and a kill for Tammy Alade. Yeah, Alade leading the Pac-12 in attacking percentage, 426 right now, Chris. Creeping up towards 500, which is almost unheard of. She was right around that number just a couple of games back. That swing is wide. So it's now 5-3 Stanford. Stanford has scored the last three points. Off one defensive error and a couple of nice swings on the offensive end. The serve originates from Plummer. Swing on the way from them. She'll get the kill as it's blocked down and out towards the scorer's table. Yeah, that was Alade and Moretta Lutz in on the block. 5-4, or 4 serving 5, Ted. Claire Martin's also going to check out for the Cougars. Ashley Brown, I think the serve would have gone long. Instead, here's the back pass. Clips off the fingertips and a pretty good swing for Lutz. She'll get another kill. She really elongates the, the arm when she makes the swing. That's why I was saying I draw the comparison to Alex Kleinman. A full running start and a swing that's fairly telegraphed, but then she can go a variety of different directions across the court. Six to four, Stanford. A 
nice top spinning swing from Penny Tusa. That'll be a kill. And what's so difficult about this Stanford Cardinal team up front is you have the two power players. You have Adriana Fitzmorris and Moretta Lutz. Lutz six eight, Fitzmorris six six. That is a high, you know, arc to get over, and an intimidating wall. Mims delivers. Plummer and McClure work together there from the Libro. Tipped off the fingertips, and this one of the longer rallies of the contest. Yet again, there's a nice save. Morgan Hens has done everything in this point. Now it's tipped over, and that's a point for the Cardinal. Fitz Morris was there to dink it home. There you go. Fitz Morris again showing that arm length 6'6. Six, six. She extends those arms. We're looking at seven feet. How about Hens with the pancake save as well with the top side of her hand? Definitely the more difficult way to save that ball. Kept the point going for the Cardinal. Deep serve almost would have gone out. Hard swing on the other end, and there's a name we haven't called much, but it's Casey Shaneline. And maybe we should have called her name more because re-entering the floor now, Shaneline put a lot of pepper on that one. 7-6 Stanford. Now Shaneline selected to the U.S. Collegiate National Team and considered right now for the women's national team as well. A floaty knuckleball of a serve across the court goes wide. 8-6 Stanford. Second stanza, they lead it after coming from behind in the first frame. And Ted, this the largest lead, equal to the largest lead of the second set. Knuckleball serve on the way. Bit of an overpass. Joust at the net. Touched into the net. And was Stanford into the net? Yes, they were. 8-7 Cardinal. They drop a point there. Yeah, I think that was Catherine Plummer with the touch on the net. Ted, Ted your broadcast position is right on the net. So you, you saw that one pretty clear. I did not. Yeah, that was, that was Plummer with the touch there, reaching over. Thank you, sir. First touch by Formico, batted by Plummer, and then pushed around on the other side, pinballed out, and it's 9-7 Stanford. The two teams are trading points here in the early going. Morgan Hentz will sit down as well as Moretta Lutz, what and Sydney Wilson coming in, as well as um, Kate Formico. So a slightly smaller lineup for Stanford here. Smaller lineup for Washington State as well, but a bit more muted. And there's a lift called on the Cougars, 10-7. There's a big chance here for the Stanford Cardinal to break this second set wide open, up by three, 10-7. Swing and tips off the fingertips of the double block. That'll be a point for the Cougs. Shane line again, and it's 10-8. Olivia Cole will check in for Washington, and three players for the Cardinal will sit down. Formico out, as well as Adriana Fitzmorris. Serve incoming here from Olivia Cole, and it's into the tape. Couldn't get over, which means it's 11-8 Stanford. Stanford band is Maybe a three out of 10 in terms of wacky dress and flare <laughs> on the caps. What do you think, Ted? Uh, yeah, I like the red vests and the bucket hats. They're tame. Very tame today. Trees can be tamed. Pancake save off the serve, tipped back. And McClure is just gonna have to fight it over Plummer rather. Far side pass, very good one. And a swing on the way from Mims. Finds a home off a heel and tips down, so it's 11-9. Cougs with another point. Well, both of these teams are anything but tame tonight, Chris. And with a new head coach, Kevin Hambly, at the helm now of the Stanford Cardinal program, he's going to push this team hard this year. Showing that tonight. Good swing. Did it catch the edge? Yes, it did. And you can tell because, uh, Ted, I know you watch a lot of tennis. It kind of catches the no I think I think that's gonna be um, point Cougars maybe a challenge here from Hamley instead it'll be a timeout called they'll figure that one out the point on the scoreboard was given to Stanford so 
Yeah. They will challenge. Yeah, Hambly's going to challenge this. It, it looked long from here. Of course, we're down low on the court. Hard to get that angle. So, so someone's got to tell the official scorer that uh, this officially needs to get challenged. And now, it, we had a decent angle. I was blocked by the stanchion on the near side. Uh, Ted, to the naked eye, though, you thought it was in? Oh, <laughs> shot in the dark, but uh, I don't know. Well, we're going to find out either way here in a moment. Pretty good crowd, and the Cougars coming to Haas Pavilion played in front of a crowd of almost a 1,000 people. Yeah, this is a great crowd here tonight on a Saturday. Here today, I want to say it's going to be announced as well over a 1,000 here. They want to see the defending, state cha <laughs> the defending NCAA champions again. It's 12-9 Stanford. In case you were curious about the result of that video challenge. An overpass turns into a point. What a swing from Alade. You have to read that situation pretty well, otherwise it's just going to always turn into a point for the Cougars. Yeah, Alade reads this just waiting, waiting, boom. Just sits on that perfectly, takes care of it. 13-9, largest lead of the evening for the Cardinal. They picked up the first set, 25-22 was the final in that one. Number two team in the country, taking on the visiting Washington State Cougars. And a shout out to everyone paying attention to this one on Facebook Live. The, the medium of Facebook Live has just been fantastic. You can post not only questions, but also comments and anything you might want to bring into the equation. And we'll actually see that here from our broadcast position, uh, really kind of adding even one extra dimension to these broadcasts. Ted, in this second set, it's been a bit of a different look from the Cardinal. They've gone with a slightly smaller lineup. And so far, so good, as the hitting percentage has just been out of this world, and it's propelled them to a sizable lead. Yeah, they still, you know, they still have Moretta Lutz in there right now. As you mentioned, a smaller size. They do have their four starters returning this year. They lost two. They have four newcomers, some freshmen in the mix, throwing them in there, getting some experience, but capturing the first set up 13 and nine in the second. Maybe use those taller players in the third if you can capture set number two. We'll see how it goes. Moretta Lutz back in. Alade, after swinging it home, forced the timeout from the Cougars and pretty good swing there from Nims. Center block, nobody really contesting it. And yeah. it's 13-10. Nims fires a dart right in the corner. Not that much on it, but just excellent pinpoint precision. Nims has kind of a shorter swing, Ted, whenever she sees that there's no block contesting her. Uh, very high volleyball IQ. First touch from the libero. Tip save. Batted forward, and Stanford beneficiaries of the free ball here. Good swing. And played back from McClure. Swing from Mims in off the hands and a block for Stanford. The first player in was, I think it might even be a, a solo block for Moretta Lutz. So we'll see what the scorebook says, but it's 14-10 Stanford. We'll see how Regina feels about the scoring on that one. Uh, I think it was Lutz. <laughs> Lutz is the 10th all-time in Stanford program history, over 430 career blocks. Teammate there, Andreana Fitzmorris, helps her out with that one. Fitzmorris with the with the clear solo block there, and it's 15-10. Played forward. It wasn't off a swing, so not officially in the scorebook. But Stanford leads by five. Box solo this time, and it's Fitzmorris. 16-10 Stanford. That's going to force a timeout. And Ted, coming out of the break, it was, let's see, out of the timeout, it was 13-9. Now it's 16-10. And right now, Jen Greeny just cashed in her last timeout for this set. Stanford still has two, but that's it. 16-10. You're going to 25. 
So right now it's it's your final pep talk of hey let's let's turn this thing around down by six. You got to right here, and you know it's going to show a lot of faith in the players what they can do without the coaches telling them hey you guys need to fix this or that. It's up to them on the court now. Well, one of the things that you mentioned, Ted, in that first frame was uh, just how much it was dominated by Taylor Mims for the Cougars, and they have been solid with Mims. But at the same time, uh, I think Stanford has forced a couple of mistakes just simply by playing the ball deep. And when you play it deep, it force more, forces more complex passing, and the Cougars can't necessarily get it to Mims. Yeah, Mims, I mean, she is great offensively. She's more actually of a defensive player i mean last year she was known for her solo blocks she had over 42 solo blocks 281 total blocks this year racking up kills as well that seems more of a shift from the defense to offense from last year to this year very fair point a little bit more wisdom and also just the, the complexion of the team around her has changed quite a bit as well and this should be very interesting to see what the cougars can do now set to down by six at a timeout so it's up to these players on the court to pull it together hence the sophomore kentucky native served it it's tipped over by mims good communication from stanford pokes through and right along the sideline moretta lutz found a home for the fastball basically from stationary flat-footed too yeah she hits this on the outside of her palm right down the line and an inside out shot 17-10 all Stanford. Opening salvo, Mims that time crossed the court. Well, they needed that side out. Down by six, getting close to the end of the second set. 11 serves 17 here. Oh, missed touch from Stanford. Lutz able to play it back and then played through and forward tip ball pretty good one chain line tried to coax the tip and this time she gets a full swing on it jenna gray with the back set tipped through that is such a great point on so many levels moretta lutz showing her experience smiling high five to coach kevin hamley it's not the first time she's seen stuff like this. This is a real volleyball connoisseur's point, Ted. Everything happened over the course of that point. Cross court plays, long passes, long hits. Speaking of long touches, the seeing eye swing turns into a kill. And we'll call this name for really the, the maybe the 10th time today. We should have called the name in, in Ella Leosh, but that time just a, a three-quarter swing for the kill. 18-12 Stanford. Overpass, backside touch. Pretty point for the card. Wow. That was like a back, <laughs> backwards dunk. Take another look at this. Our net view. <laughs> no looksies. Put away. Love it. Jenna Gray. Got the fingertips up on that one. They don't even teach that in high school. That's like a sophomore year of college. Get okay at that type of move. There's the tip play on the other end from the Huskies. Pipe set. Swing was a little long. And it'll be 19-13 Stanford. You know, that was Megan McClure, the freshman. And though she missed it, I'm loving what I'm seeing from McClure. A freshman, she's going to have monster talent moving forward here at, on the farm. She's pitched a couple of those heaters from about middle of the floor and has had more success than than not at least thus far today good swing on the pipe or rather the back set play claire or rather uh, uh fitz morris comes around and ends up with the swing and the kill like an end around comes around off the pass gets a good angle and comes across the tape serve coming as you see on the screen sydney Wilson front side pass partial block swing was chain line 
Another swing from Shane Line, this time way long. And Stanford will increase the lead, it's 21-13. They're okay with trading points if they could from here on out. Eight points, the largest lead of the evening. Crowd, by the way, still filtering in. Pretty good swing. Tipped off the fingertips. Kate Formico was the first touch there. 21-14. And now Kevin Hambly sending in the big guns. Moretta Watts, the redshirt senior in on the backcourt. Defensive specialist Olivia Cole. Grew up just outside of Portland. Across state line though in Washington. So she's in state with the Cougs. Got the serve, swing on the way, and that touchdown indeed. So it'll be Catherine Plummer with the kill. 22-14. Lead is back to eight. Sophomore Kansas native gets us underway. Middle of the court here to the back. Mims untouched on the swing. Gets through the double block, 22-15. Yeah, Taylor Mims, really, she's holding this Cougars team together. She's finding the court when she needs to. Got to get the other team involved, though. And it starts with this serve right here. Four in the back for Stanford, and the serve is long. And that turns into set point for the Cardinal. 23-15. A point away from set point. How about that? Check that. Algebra escapes me. Sometimes deep in sets. I, I was enough. never good at that one. <laughs> That's why I'm here. Overpass. This could be trouble. Mims played it back. Free balled over. Stanford's got a real opportunity here. Free play, essentially. Swing from the mid from Alade. Catches, I think, a chest or even a chin. And Alade gets another swing here. Same story. Played back, free balled over, off the bump set. Backside play from Gray. Swing into the hands and down. Man, the Cougars had some stickiness on that point. Yeah, they were scrapping on that play. We're gonna get the replay here. Backside set into the block over the net. And it was a joust with Moretta Lutz and you'd expect Lutz to win that, but she came just a little, little bit late to the party. So the Cougars score there, 23-16. Another shot for Moretta. Front side this time, swing into the hands and down for McClure. And there's McClure, the freshman, making a statement here on the floor. And the crowd get on their feet for set point. Tempo play for Lutz there. Instead, they went front side for McClure, 24-16. It's getting loud here, Chris. Tape serve. Bump save. Played back into the hands off the double block. Mims into the double block again. But into the hands and into the net. So point for the Cougs. Mims with a 12 to six slam to finish off the kill. 24-17, she's got as much versatility at the net as anyone in the conference. And she'll serve it. Mims with the knuckleball off the hands and down. That was a pure Tim Wakefield serve. You don't see that too often from the players. Catherine Plummer just, maybe the nerves a little bit getting, maybe a little sweat, who knows. Still set point for the Cardinal though. Mims knuckles it again, this time cleanly handled. Front side, Plummer and that'll do it. Megan McClure changes it up, swings it home with the little tip. And it's 25-18, the final in the second frame. Ted will send it away for the viewers on Facebook Live. Send us your questions, comments, anything that you might wish to inquire about. We'll come back for the third frame. It'll be Ted Edberg on the play-by-play -play in just a couple of minutes and some stats from this second as well.
On the money, uh, taking good shots. Uh, we're making really good improvement, but let's play better today than we did yesterday. Let's make it look good. I right, have a good one. Here we go, Stanford. Here we go. Jog it out. Jog it out. Find a spot. Here we go. We're moving. All right, here we go. We're going. We're going through this one real fast. Quick girl. Quicker. 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 episode of Gavin with Gavin. Here's my guest Dorian Pickens. Nice to meet you Gavin. I already know you Dorian. <laughs> What's your favorite flavor of milkshake? My favorite flavor of milkshake is chocolate but my favorite candy is Reese's so chocolate and peanut butter is a great choice. Let's get serious Dorian. What do you think of your coach? I think that Gavin would be a better coach. Okay, I agree. <laughs> 
Tell me what I said. He thinks I would be a better coach. Do you agree? Do you think you'd do a better job? Maybe. Maybe? Yep. You think you'd be a better player than some of the guys on the team? Probably not now. No, I think you might. Not right now. You might have Reed beat. Maybe next year. When I get older. <laughs> Who do you think is the best player on the team? Dora Pickens. Okay. He's good. He's, he's good. Yeah. Okay. You're pretty confident in yourself, Dorian. How confident are you you can beat me in the three-point contest? I think I can take you. Okay. Maybe. We'll see. I haven't seen you play lately, so we'll see what you got cooking for me. We'll see. <laughs> you think you can beat me? If you're cold. If I'm cold? Yeah. <laughs> I only see it 20 for cents. These are my rules. First one to make it wins. Let's go. Where's the line? Right here. Right there's always been there. <laughs> who would win in a game of force between you and Steph Curry? Uh, who gets to shoot first, me or him? You. Me? Mm -hmm. I might have a, a little bit of advantage though. Uh, he, he's a great shooter though, so I don't know. He might beat me. That's true. Sure. So. He's hard, but you can shoot really well. Did you pick the number 11 so you can use the nickname Double Penny? <laughs> Did I pick it just so I could do that? No. Unfortunately not. Well, one of my favorite players was Penny Hardaway growing up. And in high school, I couldn't be number one because someone had my jersey number, and so I just took another one and put it right next to it. So instead of being Penny, I was double Penny. Huh. Two pennies. Can I throw pe pennies on the court every time you make a three-pointer this season? <laughs> I wish you could, but I, I think they'll, they'll stop the game, and I don't think your dad would like that very much. How big is your shoe collection? I hear you have a ton of shoes. This is true. I got uh, probably around 150 pairs right now. That's a lot. Quite a bit of shoes. Did you know the money spent on your shoes could have bought more than a hundred tickets to Disneyland? Really? Yes. I would not doubt that. You want me to sell some shoes? We can go to Disneyland. Sure. You down for that? Yeah. Can you help me build a tower out of building blocks? Of course I can. You have building blocks with you? No. <laughs> yes, yes, of course I do. <laughs> there you go. Double them all out. Double them all out. We roll this. Um, it is crazy tonight. Stanford Cardinals 16 and 2. Washington State 13 and 8. The Cougars will serve and will take the next five questions at us. Keep them appropriate, please. And we'll get to those at our next break. So keep the questions coming. We love hearing them. As we start off, set number three, Maples Pavilion, Ted Umberg, Chris Fitzgerald, Penny Tusa. The freshman is served. And a service error out of the gate in set three for the Cougars. It's one nothing Cardinal. Now going back to the stats real quick. In the second set, Catherine Plummer with eight points. She led the Cardinal, followed by Moretta Lutz. And here's Sydney Wilson serving. Tusa. Outside, the double block up front gets past Gray. Plummer try to put it away. And nice touch by Casey Shane line. She'll get the kill. One off. Frenetic movement on the Cougars side there. Better communication than we saw in the previous set. Uh, and Really kind of directing traffic was Shane Line who got the eventual kill. Back to serve for Washington, Olivia Cole, the junior from Vancouver to Skyview High School. 24 sets played this season and floats one over. That's popped up by Plummer. Here comes Lutz. Fires the board on the baseline. Touch shot up by Plummer. Back to Plummer. Off the net. And a swing and a miss. Strike one from Tammy Holiday. Well, Holiday was ready for it, just lost sight of the ball maybe at the last second. 
I think it was almost like a bluff swing there, Ted, as if she was trying to make sure that ball ended up short of the tape. Plummer goes for the touchdown and then the quick rebound. And that falls wide, 3-1, Washington State. Olivia Cole remains on the baseline to serve. Defensive specialist for the Cougars. Serves to Plummer. Gray to Plummer. Block up front. Back to Plummer. And off the tips of Ella Laosh. Point Cardinal. Stanford serving 2-3, up two sets to love. Jenna Gray, the sophomore serving. Tusa, cross court, that was a rip ball by Mims. Backside set, blocked up front from Catherine Plummer. Take another look at this. Our net cam right over the net. Plummer all over that. Three all. Jenna Gray again. Cross court serve. Tusa. And swung on by Laosh. Out of bounds. Jenna Gray comes from a sports family dad. Played bass, baseball. Mom has ran track. Sister playing at University of Virginia. Mims blocked up front. Driggy just pushes it over. See what the Cardinal do with it. They go to Plummer down the line. Driggy, Mims, cross court wide. It was a good swing from Plummer on the other end for Stanford. And She's averaging right around four and two thirds kills per set and uh, getting the majority of the swings on the far side now. But Stanford, because of that, I think can overload the middle and, and their middle has been much, much stronger here in the second and third. Cardinal setting up in an eye formation on that last serve and trails away from the Cougars. Mims try to get a handle on it. Point Cardinal. Yeah, let's take another look. A Bank of America replay. And Gray getting comfortable on the baseline. 6-3. Sailing long from Claire Martin, the middle blocker from Bremerton, Washington. And hey, time out on the court. Let's take some of those questions from Facebook Live. Send in your questions right now. Top five we'll get to. As we get our director, Kari Jones. He'll be sending those over to us momentarily. Time out on the court. Burned by Washington State University. 7-3 Cardinal, third set. A little bit of a different look from the Cougars. I like it here in the third set. Even though they trail, the communication has been much better. I think Stanford just found an answer uh, when they realized they could kind of push balls deep and take advantage of just having a bit more size up front in the middle. Since things have been forced to the middle, Stanford has really, really shown through and, and had some strength. Only towards the end of sets have they shown a more defense or defensive oriented lineup uh, such that they're putting players more so in the back. One of the things that the men's program with Coach John Costi used to do time and time again, and John Dunning did it for many years uh, as well, is towards the end of sets, no matter what, he would put four or five players in the back in the, just the most defensive-minded or defensive-oriented lineup you could imagine. But early on in sets, uh, he would continue to cycle through the rotation and get different swings from, from various different body types uh, up until the end of the set. And it was kind of a different look consistently throughout the duration of 30 plus points. And Gray remains on the line, 7-3, third set. That Cardinal up two sets to love. 
Gray goes cross court. Touch stop blocked by Plummer and Point Cardinal, 8-3. And we're getting those questions right now. Again, your top five questions, keep them appropriate, ladies and gentlemen, please. As we're beaming out to you on Facebook Live and pack-12.com, Jenna Gray continuing to serve in this third set, 8-3, the Cardinal on top. I think there's a kind of a brief discrepancy. Taylor Mims wanted to, to make sure there was no rotation violation. I believe was the conversation they were having with our Moretta, Moretta Lutz, Tammy Alade, and Catherine Plummer up front for the Cardinal. Great serve from Gray. It's going to push the Cougars way back. A free ball opportunity. McClure, Lutz with the finish. Stammer got bailed out. That was a serve that was more or less intended for the third row out of the hands and somehow got saved as we see the replay here. Yeah, this was a nice backside set. All 6-8 of Moretta Lutz just taking care of it. 9-3 Cardinal. Service ace from Jenna Gray. Lutz off the edge of her hand has been very, very good. Servers with some, I, I would say, very aggressive serving for Stanford here. And this one's starting, you get the feeling this one's starting to trail away from Washington State. 10-3 Cardinal, up two sets to love. What do the Cougars need to do here? Well, I think because they've kind of got this reliance on uh, quite clearly Mims to get the majority of the offense going, that the, the answer for Stanford is to avoid, avoid Taylor Mims and kind of take her out of the equation. If you can make her play defense in the beginning of a point, that's all the better. Once you solve that portion of the equation, you get a feel for how this team plays, it becomes much easier. So uh, now that the Cougars are on their heels, they've really got to change it up because they will face Stanford again this year. And for the Stanford Cardinal at Arizona State, Friday, October 27th, and then at Arizona while they're in state, and then they come back home here to Stanford, California, November 3rd, facing Oregon State, 7 p.m. Get all your tickets at GoStanford.com. As we enjoy this Pac-12 matchup this evening, Saturday night, Stanford University leading two sets to love. Cardinal on an 11-game war. Ted, it's always fascinating looking up into the bleachers and kind of seeing the who's who of people who are attending. So we've got the men's volleyball team and mass behind us. And if I look behind them, there are no fewer than three very prominent Valley venture capitalists <laughs> just behind them. Uh, which venture capitalists would those be? <laughs> uh, I, I don't I don't want to give away their spot. Okay. But, uh, uh, I don't know if they have anything to do with the women's volleyball program or what? And there's Mims. She's been the star for the Cougars this evening. Just trying to get some of the other players to get involved as much as Mims has. Here's Alexis Durigi, sophomore here from born and raised in San Francisco. 14 service aces this year, pretty effective from the service line. Rigoni, here's Mims, cross court. That's picked up high to Plummer. Plummer goes cross court for the kill. I think Plummer called bank the whole way. She's got a couple of those swings that were kind of intended for the edge, but she knew she was going to get a deflection along the way. Well, she finds a beautiful angle on this shot and back to the service line. 11 serving four. Third set. Service error, rare from Plummer. Sends a free point to the Cougars. Yeah, you want to say that Plummer is almost channeling like a Logan Tom type of a player, but at the same time, uh, the serve just doesn't quite have the same heat. 
Peak. She's kind of 50-50 in between great serves and what could be considered more mediocre. I'm sure a part of her game she's looking to improve on. Ashley Brown from Prosper, Texas, serving 5-11. McClure, and that's a big block from the Cougars. Look like Yasselin Ulias in on the block. Brown to serve again. 6-11. Lutz, cross court fires wide. 7-11. Washington State added timeouts here in the third set, trailing two sets to love. Cardinal with two. Might think about a timeout soon. And another point for the Cougars. A couple of cross court serves on the shorter end of things for the Cougars. And they're in sync right now. I think the worst thing would be a, a Cardinal timeout for the Cougars as they seem to be flowing. Brown to serve. Same serve, same result. Gray, McClure, pushed back. They're gonna go to Mims. Mims can't find it. It's a rare misstep for Mims. That short cross-court serve, really strong. Cardinal 12, Washington State University 8. Morgan Hentz serving. Ashley Brown, nice dig by the Cardinal. And the finish, who else is it gonna be? Taylor Mims. I think Mims, it's important to go back to Mims there if you can, just because of the, the tape swing on the last point that didn't get over. Confidence builder for her. Great serve. McClure. Durigi. Big block up front. There's the wall, Fitzmorris and Lutz combo. Point Cardinal. 13 to nine, third set. And here's a new face, Kate Formico. Haven't seen her too much, the freshman. Defensive specialist, third on the team in digs this season. That's a little tap over from Mims. Lutz trying to find the opening. Shane Line, McClure. Yes. Off two Cougars and McClure gets the kill. Stanford with a point 14 to nine. Well, the legacy of Gabby Ailes is, is alive and well for the Cardinal. Players sliding over defensively uh, doing very, very well. Backside set. There's the finish. Adriana Fitzmorris. Preseason all Pac-12 conference. Let's take another look at it. Running, jumping, and targeting. 15-9 Stanford. Brown. Big block again from Adriana Fitzmorris. Two huge plays from the 6'6 sophomore. Last year, all Pac-12 honorable mention. Her mom played on the Peruvian national basketball team. Dad played in the basketball team in Peru and Sweden. And gives a big shout out to them with another smash. Fitzmorris rolling on the farm tonight. Boom. That's going to be tough to block. 17-9. And that's going to touch one of the Cougars. 18-9. Going to be long, but couldn't get out of the way. Everything going right for the defending national champs. Washington State out of timeouts. 18-9. They're in some trouble. Brown. And that's... 
Saved somehow. Hens pops it over. Nice angle from Shane Line. Ashley Brown with a, a pair of just amazing sets there. 10 out of 10 effort from her on that point, including the back set where she was entirely elevated in the air such that she drew the defense over just in case she was going to dink it over. Kind of misdirection that is going to net your team a point nine times out of 10. 10 serving 18, third set. McClure takes some spin off of it and then gets the jam at the net. Well, McClure had some options, but just goes for the slam dunk. Gets the point for Stanford, 19 to 10. Back on the line, the freshman ranks eighth in the Pac-12 right now in aces per set. Mom played volleyball at Chapman. Had 10 kills in her debut here at Stanford at Colorado. And that's a great play by Casey Shaneline. Saw the double block coming, a little bit of a tip shot over them. Knew she couldn't weave it through. Cougars down by eight. Third set, they're gonna need to really turn things around right now. And hoping that it's gonna start with Nicole Rigoni. Senior from Be Beaverton, Oregon. Transferred last January to Washington State from Eastern Washington University. Jenna Gray with the set. Cubage, and that's long from Claire Martin. Stanford at the 20 point marker in the third set, up two sets to zero. Adriana Fitzmore, 6'6 six, six sophomore to serve. Oh, love that. Stanford's reaching deep into the bag of tricks here in the third set. Yeah, let's let's look at this. Yeah, instead of setting her player, she's just gonna go and set that ball right behind her. Little Tom Foolery from the Cardinal. 21-11. That's a big block from Tammy Awade. The junior from Alberta, Canada. Fitz Morris to serve 22-11. Third set. Three points away from closing this match. That's a nice up from Fitz Morris. Oh! -ho. Gray, Plummer, Doogie, over the block, again, and it's Ella Lyosh finally with the put away for the Cougars, what a point on the court. Casey Shaneline will check out, Olivia Cole to serve. What a get from Hentz. Plummer tries to find the end line. Mims, free ball for the Cardinal. Hentz lays out for it, trying to help her teammates out. What an effort from Hentz on the court. Point for the Cougars, but defensively, Hentz on fire tonight. Olivia Cole to serve. Loretta Lutz. Firing at the shins of Nicole Rigoni. And it's Point Cardinal. 23 to 13. What do you see here, Chris? 
How do you stop this if you're Washington State? I, the movement's been really good for the Cougars. I just think that Stanford has found answers almost every single way uh, to the point where the Cougars are really just forcing Stanford to go deep into the bag of tricks. Now well, they'll get Mims involved. Good swing. Now the bread and butter takes care of it. To your point, Ted, that second swing was as good as the first, and the first was almost perfect, and it was direct into the double block. So Stanford, a, a little bit of a different look uh, this year from what won them a national championship, but darn good. Alexis Durigi serving. Plummer with a one arm up. Lutz, Rigoni, Taylor Mims. Oh, that's a great set in execution. Tammy Alade, and it's match point, Stanford Cardinal. 24 to 14, the match on the hands of the sophomore, Katherine Plummer. The fans on their feet going crazy in Maples Pavilion tonight. Off the scoreboard and it's taken care of by Marina Lutz. Cardinal win. Well, what a performance tonight from this Stanford team. On a 12-game win streak, they'll move to 17-2 overall, 10-0. In the Pac-12 Conference, Washington State will fall to 13-9 and 2-8 and in the Pac-12. On fire tonight, Chris. Yeah, it's amazing what Kevin Hambly and Denise Carlett have done with this Stanford.